generally the reaction is they are just blown away. One of the coolest features in the Oracle database is the in-memory option, the ability to have a compressed columnar format of data inside the SGA itself, as opposed to in a separate database. And I can honestly say, every time I've done a demo for customers of the in-memory option, you'll either do it remotely or you go visit them, you'll grab yourself a nice big table and you'll throw it into the in-memory column store and then run some typical queries against it. Sometimes it's their own applications, their own workload. Other times it's a um, synthetic demo you put together for them. In either case, generally the reaction is they are just blown away. I've rarely seen it ever do anything except be very, very impressive. The only drawback to that is the fact that it's a separately licensed option. And therefore, it's a bit of a leap to make that investment without knowing well in advance what you might be able to get as benefits. So the ability to trial in memory would be really, really important. But I think we can even go one better. In fact, it's probably rare for an Oracle person to come out and say there is an init.ora parameter that everyone should be setting. Because most of the time we say, please don't mess with the parameters. But that one is the in-memory force parameter as long as you're on a recent version of the Oracle database. And the reason I say you should set it is you should set it to a value of base level. What does base level mean? It means you get the in-memory option. Well, let me clarify, you get 16 gigs of in-memory usage for free. No license fee, no restrictions. As long as you're already on Enterprise Edition, you get to now have 16 gigs of the in-memory option without having to fork out for an in-memory license. Now, the cool thing there is, even if you're just trialing in memory, that's awesome. You've got 16 gigs just to do some trialing and experimenting with. And most people, when they do that, they find the return on investment is well worth the money and they'll go out and buy the full memory option. But I understand that's not for everyone. What if you just want to take advantage of that 16 gig and never go out with the in-memory option in full? Well, there's still plenty of benefits to be had there as well. Let me give you a simple demo here. Let's create a simple but typical warehouse style schema. We're gonna have some products. And in this case, I'm using just the connect by level to come up with 1200 products. I'm also gonna have a customers table. And in this case, I'll use the same scenario to build a 10,000 row customer table. They can be considered dimensions on top of a fact table. In this case, I'll call it customer sales. Now to generate lots and lots of rows here, I've got to connect by times three. So I've got 250 times 1000 times 1000. That's going to give me 250 million rows in my customer sales fact table. But even 250 million rows doesn't necessarily consume a lot of space. If I go look at user segments, you can see in this case, I'm only consuming 12 gigabytes. That, along with my dimension tables, is easily going to fit into the in-memory column store if I've got 16 gigabytes for free. But before I do that, now that we've got our dimensions and facts tables, let's run a simple, typical style of analytical query on my data warehouse that I've just built on this laptop. So you can see here, I've got some aggregations, I've got some joins, I've got all the normal stuff that we would do to bring fact tables and dimension tables together. And you can see, because this laptop is getting a bit long in the tooth, it takes about 75 seconds to do this heavy lifting query. But I've now got 16 gigabytes of in-memory that I can use with no license fee. So I'll take my three tables, my products, my customers, and my sales table, and I'll throw them into the in-memory column store. I'll give them some time to get populated into the in-memory column store, but it's not like a static thing. They'll be now kept in sync as I do DML and changes. Now I run the same query again that used to take 75 seconds, and now it takes three seconds. I didn't add indexes, I didn't restructure the data, I literally took advantage of the in-memory column store. One of the great things here is the in-memory column store is a compressed structure. So even if my tables exceeded 16 gigabytes by some way, then there's a very good chance that the data will still fit into the in-memory column store. So if you're on 19C with one of the more recent release updates, you get this for free. Set your in-memory parameter to being base level 
and start taking advantage of that 16 gigabytes. Whether you're running OLTP or running analytic queries, I'm sure you can find some particular queries that are of high value to your applications or customers that you can now move the representative tables into the in-memory column store and start seeing significant performance benefits without spending a dime.